Aaron Kumar Jagadish, the USA head coach, after a devastatingly disappointing tour, just one point from eight. Jack, where did it all go wrong? I think we were coming off uh, from a good tour. I mean, we've been playing good cricket since Houston, and the graph was on a good incline. And it was just unfortunate that we just slumped down completely here, and uh, obviously our batting let us down. And the guys were in form, couldn't get those runs. And I think it all boils down to the, the kind of preparation we have had. Because uh, even looking at the history, when wickets were slow and low, we have struggled past Nepal and Bermuda and even now here. So I think this in the end comes down to preparation because they're so used to playing on Astros back home. And although we remind them to stay low here, the instinct kicks in after a certain time and they go upright and that's when uh, that's where we got a lot of LBs and bowls in our team, to be honest. And it comes down to preparation and we need to start preparing really hard on turning tracks to in the future to make sure we don't falter again when it comes to this place. Just two fifties in the four matches completed. Does the fault really lay with the, the top six, top seven batters? Yes, uh, I feel any team, right, the top four or five, that's what we have done previously. Uh, Two out of the four or five have been doing well for us. That's when we are going past 250, 260, and even 300 sometimes. But here, the top six, we have not got many runs. We are all talented cricketers. I mean, we have seen how well they can play in the past. But yes, that that was a huge disappointment for us that the guys, when they get, uh, got started on, they didn't uh, utilize the starts and convert it to big scores. Tell us about where this leaves you. I think any hopes of third place in the table are probably gone. That will mean that the tour in Namibia will be about as much as anything trying to avoid sixth place and avoid the potential of losing ODI status. Absolutely, yeah. We have put ourselves in a very tight, tight spot at this point, and there's no way but we have to win, and, and that's an imperative now. So it kind of comes down to the preparation again, uh, come into it, how well we prepare in the next six weeks, and come back really hard. There are a few places where I've addressed that to the players, and as a team, uh, fielding has to get better in the energy levels, and of course, uh, taking that the pressure on themselves and and willing to spend more time in the wickets that's for, that's very important. You might get not you might not get runs in the in a particular phase, but you have to battle that and play a long innings. And that's where I think that was a part which is missing in our team. And I think we're going to go on and work hard, really hard, in the next six weeks and come back strong. Obviously, it won't be entirely your decision, but will the national selection panel also have to look at the personnel? It's been a very tough tour. Heavy defeats to Namibia in the last two matches and just one point from four against Papua New Guinea, bottom of the table. Yeah, we picked the best team possible because all these guys were in very good form previously coming uh, coming uh, on the store. And I don't think it's such a big issue, but uh, the guys we trusted, unfortunately, didn't get the runs. But I think these were the best, uh, the best possible uh, squad we could pick. And it's not about uh, the senior or junior. or It's, it's about picking the right guys in, in the right form. The, the form is good, I think, we, at least the confidence level, levels will be really high. So it's important to pick guys, and which we did, and unfortunately they didn't come off. On the positive side, it doesn't extinguish the hopes of India 2023. It will almost certainly need to go through the playoff, which will be in March, April 2023. That will be a six-team event with the bottom four in League Two, mm -hmm. and the two sides coming up, Canada and Jersey, it looks certain to be. That's not going to be an easy event, only two spots on offer. Yes, that's going to be uh, tough as well. So, yeah, we're going to fight fight hard. This is, uh, I mean, we have got ourselves to this position at this point. So we, we have no choice but to fight hard and prepare really hard now. Final positives from the tour. It felt Sarah Netravalkar and Stephen Taylor with the ball were very good. It's a good fight from Gajanan Singh with the bat. Absolutely, yeah. They, they showed the character and uh, showed the willingness to fight a little hard. Coming at the last game, I know uh, Norton Stevenson put, put their best and uh, showed the batters that to stick onto the wicket for a little longer, it, things, things tend to get easier. So these are little takeaways from the store and of course uh, we need to concentrate a lot on the fielding and the energy levels. Okay Jack, thanks for chatting to us, no it's tough, safe travels home. Thank you.